So now you've got a template and you've got pages as well. You can see them on the tabs at the top there. Um, everything's saved because there's no star beside any of these names at the top here. And if you also look in the bottom right hand corner, we can check we've got our template and indeed we've got the pages that are saved as well and the structures given there in the folder as well with this subfolder of templates with a template in it of course and the five pages created now of course your page name may, names may be different you may have more pages uh, but it gives you the idea of what you should be looking for here now this is the place as i said before where you always check you can uh, click refresh and I've clicked refresh there and it's brought up um, the CSS file you've got to check that that's there as well because that really needs to be in there if you're using a, a CSS uh, style sheet which is embedded within your site which is a way I've shown you to do it um, just to give you a little bit of information regarding that CSS can also be outside of your site as well if you've got a house style or a style sheet that controls uh, many sites or is uh, altered or you might want to alter it or edit it on on a, on a frequent basis or periodically you might sit it outside the site so you, then you can just edit that and then it will update that site and whatever site it controls but that's getting a little bit too complicated now let's deal with a bit of CSS here now we're we're in the template as you're looking at here and I'm going to set um, certain fonts and some uh, perhaps the 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 border width of this particular uh, container we call this here and so on and so on so we're looking at editing the CSS now I've clicked edit the CSS and over in the corner here you'll see the uh, CSS styles you might need to click that arrow if it's not showing now currently everything's set up here so I'm just going to click to get into this menu here and if you look the border of this box here is set to 780 pixels so maybe we can maybe we can change that just to make it um, some a different value to make the content wider in the middle the container wider in the middle and uh, indeed you can do all sorts of things in there uh, let's just do that let's look at the background the background color this is the background color of this bit here this is this bit here so maybe you've got a color for that there maybe I don't know that's a light gray color we'll apply that to that and uh, this is where you can do a background background image and you can bring in a blended background and I'll show you that at some other point and and then we've got various things in here you can set a font that's um, going to be relevant for all your pages they're the typical fonts you've used you can edit this font list and add more in and change this I'm just going to um, go for Verdana like that and um, set a default style of 12 pixels that, uh, 12 points should I say make sure you change the pixel to points because that's usually what you're working in terms of fonts. Um, you might want to um, take into account that just because you set a CSS rule like that does not mean to say you can't override it and set text. You can. That's just the rule, the default for all of the pages. So when I apply all that and we click OK, like this here, click off it, you'll see that it's made some changes there. And indeed, my CSS that needs. Uh, saving as well so I just went in there and went control s so now I've updated everything and what you'll see is in all these pages as well it's also updated all those pages as well so so there we are it took effect straight away so any changes you make in the template can make changes to these pages in the same way with CSS now what I'm also going to show you before we go any further is in the page properties down at the bottom here if you click the page properties this is how you can get to this background color in other words the bit on the background of the whole page and you might want to change I don't know I'll change it to that color which is pretty uh, gory but there we go and uh, the page font is there and the size is there and you can look through all of these I mean we're getting a bit complicated here but you, we can just go okay and then you get an idea of some changes and again control s to change update all the pages if it doesn't do it automatically uh, file save all and we're in there and all the pages will look the same.